Power on. The wireless device is ready to pair. Radio Shack seems to be making a comeback online. Found this ad for this retro styled mini boombox for 50 bucks. Then I looked on Amazon, noticed it was there as well. Decided I would pick this one up from Amazon just because I have the two day shipping and all that good stuff. But you have choices of many different colors. They had this pink camo model, which is pretty cool. Check out the bling design as well. Yeah, pretty cool looking. So we had to get one in, see what it's all about. Here's the box. And according to the features, Bluetooth, FM radio, LED light up dancing speakers, stereo sound, headphone jack, aux input, SD USB input, remote control, and rechargeable battery and charger included. Let's take it out of the box and see what it's all about. I have to undo some of the tape here and open it up. You can see it's wrapped up nice for protection. Pull it out with the handle. Open up some of the plastic here. You can see we got some accessories. We'll go through those in a minute. Let's pull this out. First up, we have the instruction booklet. There's about two pages of each different language. So two here for English at the beginning. Tells you how to charge the unit, how to turn it on, how to listen, all that stuff. It does say headphones a lot, and this does not have a headphone jack. I'll show you that in a little bit. Trentec brand, so it appears to be OEM by Trentec. Here is the USB, the micro USB for charging to regular USB and a 3.5 millimeter jack there for the aux. And then the remote control, very small little remote control here. If you take it out of the package, there's a little piece of plastic that keeps the battery not touching. So if you pull that out, it will enable the battery to start working. And here on the back, you can see it uses a CR2025, one of those button cell batteries. Those are kind of expensive unless you get them off Amazon. <laughs> but uh, this should last for a while. These usually typically last for a while in these small remotes. Here's a boom box. It definitely stands out. Not going to see very many like this with all these retro 90s colors. And it has a handle on it to make it easy to pick it up. It's not very heavy. But um, yeah, I think you show this off to your friends. They'll be pretty impressed, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, possibly, unless they have something better. But for 50 bucks, I figured it was worth a chance to pick one of these up so you guys could see what it's all about. And I could as well. Let's take a look at this input board here. It has an off on switch, forward, reverse, play and pause buttons. The mode is for the radio and the Bluetooth. The micro USB charging port there is for charging the unit. And if we switch up to the top, we see we have the display, which is not on in this picture. My apologies. There's a micro SD card slot, which they call trans flash and 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, as well as a USB input for MP3 files on a thumb drive. It also has a rotary knob for the volume. Let's take out our tape measure and see how big those speakers are. As far as the speakers go, these appear to be approximately three and a half inch. That's from the surround to the surround. A little bit more than three inches as far as the cone goes. So that's, uh, you know, about typical for a small boom box. Also on the back of the unit, there is a port. You can see it right there for um, getting you some extra boom, I guess. <laughs> look at the colors. It just made it look kind of cool. I mean, it stands out definitely for a small boom box. It's not heavy at all. Very, very lightweight. As far as dimensions go, 12.5 inches on the long side, seven inches for the height, 4.5 inches for the depth. Again, kind of lightweight and relatively compact. Let's try the FM tuner first. Let's turn it on. Power on. The wireless device is ready to pair. Mighty nice of you. Now, we got a mode control here on the remote and also a mode here. What I've noticed is if you hit it here, it starts the volume like max volume. Let's see if it does it. Radio mode. Getting vaccinated is the best. And that sets it. Of course, it does have the um, antenna or 
in other countries they call it the aerial but it does have a antenna like an old school boom box goes up about 12 inches or so when you turn the unit on you'll see that it has these flashing leds which just cycle through colors. It doesn't let you set whichever color you want to see on the remote or anything, but it's just kind of showy. You know, this is designed to be like a retro type boom box. So you can show it off to your friends, probably more designed for kids, but I think it looks, you know, it definitely stands out. It doesn't have VU meters or anything flashing for the music, but the fact that it something a little different than the standard boom box makes it look kind of cool in my opinion. So the first thing you'll notice here is there's reverse uh, play and forward. And the way this works on the radio is I'll turn it just a little bit. Well, that's it. I don't if you push it once like this, it goes through presets, which I've already set up. Or if you hold it down, it'll actually scan for the next available station. Hold it down, it'll scan and it just looks for all the stations. It went through and did the presets earlier when I held this button down. So if you hold this one down, see it scans through and it sets your presets based on the channels that it finds. And it's amazingly sensitive. And it's not crying at me, but I mean, it's sensitive as far as picking up the stations. I'm pretty shocked at how sensitive it is. You big dummy. This is not Mickey Mouse program. It's still going through and it's picked out like 22 presets so far, 23. And some of them it stops on and it's not shutting because it's just static. Okay, so it found 34 presets and I can go through them just by hitting the next. So anything that it finds close enough to think that it's got music, it will stop as a preset, which I guess can be useful. I don't know how many people still use the radio nowadays, but if you do, then this is a pretty cool little uh, function. So the remote here is of course one of these credit card size remotes with the 2025 battery. But when you're on the radio, it does let you hit next, just like I'm hitting next here to skip through your presets. But also if you know a particular radio station you wanna tune into, so let's say 96.9, so I'll hit 969, and it'll go straight there. I'll unmute it so you can hear it. But yeah, that's pretty useful even though it's a dinky little remote. Um, and it does have volume up and down, which I didn't know that it would since this has a volume uh, knob on it. But the volume up and down are the two that are not labeled here where you think they would be. So I'll hit the up and down. So it does have volume control in here, which is nice. Let's turn it on and get it paired to my phone. Power on. Okay, so we go to Bluetooth. Hope it'll show up down at the bottom. There it is, BBC. Connected. Connected, you heard her say that. Now let's switch it to look which. Probably the coolest thing about connecting through Bluetooth is you can actually control the volume via your phone. So if you set the volume here kind of up high, then you can control the level on your phone and crank it up when you want to and turn it down. So it's playing back right now on Bluetooth. I'm gonna take my little thumb drive here. I've got some songs from the YouTube audio library. We're gonna plug it in. Music mode. You can pause it by 
by hitting the center button here, you notice it started immediately, like I told you earlier. As soon as you plug in either USB or AUX, it's gonna switch to those modes. So let's hit play again, and we'll skip to the next track. sure the device is actually pure stereo we got a test track here we're going to try it out and make sure we get left and right separation here we go left channel right channel okay it's definitely separate left and right channels there so that's a good thing even though they're close together you probably never notice the stereo separation it's good to have the stereo separation. see here maybe it's not the most fair comparison because this one is so much smaller you could fit two of these maybe three if you had two this way and one that way in the same form factor as this boom box so let me go find something a little bit bigger and we'll compare it to this one now we're going to try one of my favorite sub 100 dollar bluetooth speakers the w king i think it's called the d8 so let's try Luck Witch by Audio Hertz. Here we go, max volume. Now let's take the speakers out so we can take a closer look inside to see what's inside of this. Four screws out of this speaker on the left here. The cover for the speaker and also the speaker itself are held in with these screws. So when you take the cover off, the speaker falls out too. But uh, you can see the LED there. There's a single LED uh, for the flashing lights. And there is the three and a half inch speaker relatively small magnet there on the back we didn't expect it to be anything too big just because it's only a few watts per channel four ohm three watts for each of the speakers according to the manufacturer it also has a three watt by two amplifier built in so we took out this little display unit here it has a lot of things built into it including the fm tuner the usb the auxiliary all that good stuff so here's a better look at the unit with everything pulled out or most everything pulled out. You can see the battery down there at the bottom. It's a single 18650, I believe, battery. It's very interesting there's only one battery. It's 3.7 volts, so this unit runs on very low voltage. The good stuff, it has FM, Bluetooth, USB, micro SD, and auxiliary for the inputs. It has a wireless remote. It actually sounds okay. And it has a rechargeable battery relatively inexpensive and definitely unique looks with those flashing LEDs. You'll definitely have something that stands out among your friends with a Bluetooth speaker. Could be better. The volume issue when you switch it to the radio where it goes max volume is annoying. There is no headphone jack, even though it says there is one. It rattles at high volume. There is no control over the LED lights, either changing the color or turning them off. Reliability, there's a lot of reviews online saying the battery won't charge after a few uses. So there you have it. The Mini Retro Bluetooth speaker I got off Amazon. Check the link in the video description below if you wanna pick one of these up. Again, can't guarantee how long it's gonna last. It does look kinda of cool, probably fun for a gift or something. 
but uh, just for fun it sounded better than i thought it would it is no diamond box but it's okay this big d until next time i'm out of here Rage on that beat, gon' pray.